everybody, it's uh, Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews, and uh, you read the title right, this is a quick Nerf Mod News, and um, with the mod I'm about to talk about today, it will make me definitely afraid of, well, my double breach. Uh, to make a long story short, a uh, link uh, or card to the video I'm talking about, I guess, there or here, anywhere, point is, um... I found a guy on a, a YouTube channel, I, again, for the sake of the timing, um, I don't have his name off the top of my head, his name and channel will be in the description below. So, let's talk about, the um, 200 feet ranges, uh, cannot be done, uh, with older gen, um, nerf modifications, like, uh, your long shots, your crossbows, unless you can 3D print the crap out of, uh, crossbows, which has been done, again, I'll put a link in the description, because we're gonna have a lot of cars related to this mod. What this gentleman did, essentially, was take uh, a double breech, kind of like this, uh, singled, I think, the barrel of the blaster, brass breached it uh, enough to take anything. Like, it could still take uh, rival rounds, it could still take uh, uh, megas. I don't know if he singled it small enough to take micros. Best guess he probably did. I need to rewatch the video. But that's... Now, normally we think, oh, okay, so he maxied the hell of it and did something well. Yes, um, it is on its own a very weak blaster. No way in hell this could push 200 foot ranges. What he basically did was did a, a air pressure valve. A lot of PSI uh, bladders uh, and older uh, uh, blasters that needed to uh, pump a lot. I know that was slam fire, but that that's proof of concept there. Kind of like uh, super soaker guns. Um, so basically, he rigged up a system like this, um, kind of along the lines of what um, I think Forsaken Angel did way back when he was doing uh, Rapid Fire 20 mods. I really love the Ice of Fire mod. Uh, again, uh, card or link in the description for that. It's a really good mod for what I'm talking about. He amplified the PSI to basically house the entire uh, blaster, uh, wired the hell of it. I think used uh, micro uh, switches and something along the lines of uh, fly roll mods to basically make this thing shoot twice if it was regularly pump fed. Now the cool thing he did was he pumped, he did the pump and that's how it starts the pressure valve where it can go as many PSI as he wanted. Uh, I think the pressure gauge was right here on the top of the blaster if I'm not mistaken. Uh, again, I need to rewatch the video. Um, and um, on the body concept alone, it really couldn't, um, uh, of the of this blaster really couldn't handle all the wiring I think he was trying to get to so basically he bought uh, a worker mag I know this is a 22 I think he got a 12 or 16 dart uh, P mag and basically he just integrated it uh, to house more of the wires the micro switches and anything he needs to get the final product now the end result of everything I just told you is that this uh, particular mod uh, in that channel's case can push uh, roughly 250 on the chronographs. I'm not kidding, 250 max. Um, also, it could uh, dual shoot other weapon types. Uh, like, I was kind of avoiding throughout this whole video, but I might as well get out of it. Uh, because it's one of those, like, actual engineering um, practical channels that you may have seen a few of those if you haven't. Um, best case is this guy's channel, and I think test it with Adam Savage. We're just basically going over practical uh, effects like how to how to videos and stuff like that in his particular case it could shoot uh nails screwdrivers nope screw screw nails if i remember correctly um rival rounds megas and it can shoot fireworks yes i am not joking this guy managed to rig uh, a lot of internal modifications to the point that it can shoot fireworks and breathe fire I, again, wish I was kidding. <laughs> Honestly, th this is where I would stop modding and go, hmm, I should really do airsoft mods now and see if I could make it shoot real steel. No, 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 no. That, 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 that's basically, in a, in a martyr's world, that's when you go off the reservation and go, I want to see if this thing can breathe fire. Yeah, that, that's basically what he did with this particular uh, mod. So my final thoughts on that guy's channel, uh, please go subscribe uh, the sub. Uh, Follow him on his social medias, help him on his Patreon, because apparently, from the look of projects like that, it took a lot of work. And if the guy is at all watching this video, hi, I do nerf videos sometimes. Not as much, uh, I used to do a lot when I started out. Also, um, I like tokusatsu, so if I ever, uh, I guess another food for thought, I guess for myself. 
Uh, someday, if I ever do paint jobs for any of my blasters, modded or otherwise, I want to theme them like uh, a lot of commoners. Uh, my first one would have to be Kuga, without a doubt. Uh, it's hard to pick which blaster it would be. I mean, it's it's hard with a color like red as its main form. Joking aside, um, please go watch the video. It is just as insane as I'm trying to explain it. And quick announcement, I am still in charge of doing um, the Amazon's review. It's coming up next week. I still got to rewatch uh, episode two. I've seen episode one. And oh my dear God, I'm happy to finally see it because um, the fan sub community and people who stupidly upload them, I'm not going to name names here for the sake of copyrights, uh, took a long time for me to wait for those subs. Overtime or otherwise, uh, I heavily recommend the TV Nihon subs because that's what I used throughout watching season one and... They got better as time went on when they're with their pronunciations if you're still hung up on that. So, I guess turning us into now a retro news, um, take care, subscribe, and this is Retro Kid Retro Kid Reviews. Was about to say another nerf news for a retro kid, but this, this I'm 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 sorry, I'm I'm still afraid to even shoot this stupid uh, double breach. Uh if it's twenty or thirty dollars now on regular stores, uh go get it. It's still a really good blaster. Uh Link in the description for uh, Red's review of it, and uh, yeah, later. Forgot half of the remote now. Hey, well, what are you gonna do? And power down. That was a nice nerf review. So let's check uh, Double Zazi Network and wait. What the? Hang on, let me zoom in. Oh. No, that, no way. Holy, uh, apart from that last part, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, hey, 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 I gotta I got check something real quick. Do I have it? Do I have it? Holy shit, I have it! Oh, I, I think, I don't know, let me check. Oh, holy shit, but I have to subscribe to it. God damn it, Real Life TV! Yeah, uh, last minute news, I'm not kidding here, uh, I guess this is a retro news after all. Uh, turns out, uh, TV Japan, uh, if you have a cable company like me that has it, either ironically or not, uh, is about to air Wizard tomorrow as of this recording. Would love to do a review of it, but, uh, turns out my cable fire has other plans, so until then, take care, subscribe, and, uh, what the hell is this called fire to my body? I'll do it, James. I'll, I'll, I'll burn his suit down. Okay, okay. I rehension, by the way. And what did, what did I miss? Any other news I might have missed? Just just tell me real quick before before the end cut starts up. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, uh, follow me on social media like Tumblr and uh, uh subscribe to my channel. And if this is the end card, what are you doing? Uh, do it now. Do it now. Yeah. You, there's something you should do right now. Cloak and dagger. Oh, they got a show. Yeah. On freeform. Ew, freeform. Yeah, I know. But you're gonna do a react trailer or not? Who, who tipped you off? Just watch the deer in the comics. Who else? Alright, you may be a clone, but man, you're really much a jackass. I'll, I'll do it next week. How about that? No, Monday. That counts as next week. Stop. Alright, fine. Whatever. Hey, I'm uh, Squad Spider, the clone Spider-Man, and uh... Yeah, I'm still working on my new suit. See you in a bit, guys. Or... Is it bit mean another 20 years? Oh, God damn it. You heard the... You know the drill. Uh, social media, his previous video. Bye. <laughs> That guy is weird, I swear.